is we are still dead. We are still here because in spite of this decree, the cruise ship, the, these giant cruise ships are still going to cross the Judeca Channel. The reason we are here is because we are citizens of Venice and we are against this passage, but we are also against a type of uh, mo like a tourism model that is destroying the city and is, um, is pushing out residents and people that want to live here, is destroying the planet, is destroying the city, is polluting so, so much. Much. And this is the reason we are here because we want to we want to relaunch the city. We, we still want to we, we, we want to live here. We want the city to prosper, but we want it to be uh, at the measure of people and not profit and not multinationals. I think the struggle is very long. I think we are against a very big financial interest. But uh, if you ask the people that are living in Venice, the people that are living in Venice don't want these boats here. And also after one year and a half that uh, everything basically stopped due to the pandemic, uh, what we are worried about is that the situation uh, goes back to the situation that we had uh, before the pandemic. We're happy to be back. We are happy to contribute to the, uh, well, rebirth uh, and to, re, uh, to restart the engines uh, and of course we care a lot about Venice. Uh, we've been asking for a stable and management, uh, manageable solution for ships and the access to Venice and the lagoon for many years uh, since 2012 to no avail so far but maybe something is moving this time. Venice is a home port. This is where many itineraries begin or end and this means uh, that uh, two things first that the economic impact in Venice is huge okay but the other thing is that well basically uh, there is a risk that if Venice is taken off the itineraries all the Adriatic will suffer the consequences of this so yeah it would be a huge impact anche la differenza di atteggiamento delle forze dell'ordine quando sono le nostre barche quando sono i nostri barchini